Hello, a world of Warcraft. This is Sinan with the WoW Dungeon, and in this video, I'm going to be covering what pet you should bring to PvP environments. Let's get to it. Jesus Christ. He was not expecting that at all. So before I even get started on anything, I need to make sure that you know that you're running the correct spec for your pet. So by default, you should automatically be putting your pet in a cunning spec, whether you are a Beastmaster or a non-Beastmaster. And the reason why is for two abilities, Bullheaded and Roar of Sacrifice. All right, so what pet do you use when you're solo uh, out in the world of, of World of Warcraft? And just so I'm clear, I define solo as being out in the world PvP environment or you're in a random BG. Because let's be honest, when you're in a BG, you are by yourself. You are just playing with a bunch of bots and you are by yourself and need to fend for yourself. <laughs> so the main pets that I would take as a non-BM hunter would be a versatility pet or a MS pet. Those are my personal choices. And the reason why is because versatility is a flat damage increase across the board for you. Um, it doesn't matter what spec you're in, uh, it's going to give you a 3% increase to damage. Um, that's, that's pretty much how I go with uh, Marksman um, or Survival, just taking straight up uh, versatility. The only other option I would take is a Mortal Strike pet, MS pet, um, because if you're by yourself, most classes have instant heals that you can't kick, and because Tranquilizing Shot is now dead, you can't just remove um, over time healing. So an MS pet is going to weaken those healing um, abilities and make you do indirectly more damage. Um, so those are my recommendations. As a BM hunter, Beastmaster hunter, I would recommend a Spirit Beast all the way. Um, the main reason is because you get Critical Strike and you get Mastery. And a Spirit Beast gives you Spirit Mend, which is a uh, 10 second heal over 30 seconds. So that's like three things in one. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Um, so I would take those things uh, as a Beastmaster when you are solo YOLO. And finally, when you're in a group setting, what you should be running. Um, that pretty much depends on what comp you're running. Um, for KFC, uh, typically I'll be running a Critical Strike pet. That's pretty much the lacking need that the Warrior has. Warriors benefit greatly from crit, so providing extra crit for them is awesome. Um, if you're missing Mastery, put in some Mastery. As Beast Master, you get two stats so try to fill in two stats if you can if you can't fill in two stats um just fill in the one most important one and just chalk the other one up to uh, uh well it's redundant but you got a cooler pet <laughs> so always try to get as many buffs in as you can that should conclude all the information that you need to know when choosing a pet in pvp Thank you for watching the video and thank you for subscribing. If you have any questions about anything covered in this video, hit up my Twitter. I'm active on it and will be happy to answer any questions that you have in relation to PvP. And again, thank you for watching my video. Till next time.